My name is Blaine McLeod. I'm the owner, along with my wife and two sons, of Karen Crest Farms. Through many different situations and, and uh, changes in the farm, different family members have, have left. I've bought uh, shares of my brother-in-law and made a, a, a succession plan with my father and uh, became sole owner with my wife. And from that point forward, I started thinking about the renewal of the operation. And, and making sure the barns were suiting the needs for the cows in terms of comfort and size and ventilation and all those aspects. And it, it became pretty obvious that, that I needed to, to do something and something fairly soon. And so we started the process of uh, you know, trying to expand the farm to the size that it is today. Construction started in 2010 on, on where we're standing right now. And there was a lot of deconstruction that had to happen to begin with. There was, there was a set of corrals along this side. Right where we're standing there was corrals. There was an old barn that was the original barn from back in the 50s when the, when the college had the, had the facility. That all had to come down. We had to, to decommission a lot of stuff, relocate water lines and all that kind of a thing. I, I intended to use the same lagoon and just expand it but it became very obvious uh, through some of the initial testing that that wasn't going to work and that we would have to decommission that lagoon and build from new. And so that's, that is what's hap what happened. And it, it was an expense that I wasn't anticipating, but it was one that I think has been, been well worth while to, to make sure that we have adequate capacity for this farm for the future. And uh, the, it was becoming increasingly difficult to, to go deep and then maintain a good solid base. And so the remedial work that we did to accomplish that was decide to build out of the ground. To clay lining is to just to prevent any kind of, uh, of uh, loss of, of nutrients into the water table and, and to, you know, to, keep, to keep the lagoon structurally sound. And it, and it is very, very sound. There's, there's no leakage whatsoever or no movement of, of the nutrients. And we designed it to have enough capacity in the first cell to, to handle a year's storage of manure with our present size, and then to flow over into the second cell, which you can see has got some in it now as well. But uh, it, it, it's worked really, really good for us. We've been able to, to contain most of the solids in the first cell. The approval process, it, it seems daunting, but once a person sets their mind to accomplish it, it, it really is not that difficult. It can be costly, but, but when we, we uh, make the commitment to, to care for our land and our environment, there are costs associated with that, that we as an industry all must make sure we're doing our part because increasingly that will be uh, a significant component of the sustainability of farming is that we're caring for the land and the environment that we're choosing to work in.